With a month to go in the season, it was important the Saints finished on a positive note. Although the Saints lost to the Hawks in a Friday night blockbuster, for three quarters, they showed why the future is for the Saints. full forward, he's got a goal, the boy has he? Yes, he's had a pretty good night. Darren Minchington was impressive in his first game, hitting the scoreboard with a calm finish, while Adam Schneider booted three second-half goals in his first match since round two. Pace lines up, does he make it three? I think he has. That's not a bad comeback, Jimmy is it? picked up 35 disposals, but Farron Ray was St Kilda's recipient of the Blue Ribbon Medal after collecting 30 touches for the first time since 2009. St Kilda's midfield matched it with Sydney's highly credentialed engine room for much of the game in round 21, with Curran holding Dan Hanabry and Stephen collecting 35 touches. This, is up. this will be a team goal! How well was that play? Armour continued his good form with a game high of eight tackles. Gilbert's return bolstered St Kilda's defensive structure, while Geary dominated the second quarter off half-back. Sydney broke away after half-time. But the Saints' endeavour never faltered, as Tom Hickey shouldered the bulk of the ruck duties in the absence of Benny Mack. Round 22 was a big thank you to our loyal and dedicated St Kilda members, with a series of celebrations kicking off the weekend. Cameron Shenton became the Saints' ninth debutante and fourth elevated rookie for the season. Cameron Shenton, first kick for him, he doesn't go for goal. The debutante, he went for revolt, good option, there he is. Tom Ledger played his first game for the season, performing strongly. The cheer squad like it, and that could be the sealer for the same. Rue was the dominant big man on the ground, taking a season-high 15 marks, while Joey kicked three goals and had 33 possessions in the midfield, with one special highlight. Montaigne has kicked oh, the goal! Not from there. Absolute magic from Lee Montaigne. Kicks his third. The players lifted with a 46-point win over the Suns in Ray's 100th game for St Kilda, as the club notched its fourth win of the season. Going into the last match of the home and away season, this was a special occasion for four iconic Saints. We had three retirements and two players playing their 200th game. Tom Lee and Lenny Hayes got St Kilda off to the perfect start. Here's Lenny from 35. He'll enjoy that. For the second time this season, the Saints held their opposition scoreless for the first quarter, allowing Frio their first at the 13-minute mark of the second quarter. 12 minutes into the second term and still no score for the Fremantle Dockers. Big man Justin Kaczynski showed he was the crowd favourite when he entered the field for the 200th and last time in Saints Colours. The crowd will tell the story, their admiration for this man. With the results safe in St Kilda's keeping in the last half, the attention turned to getting the ball into the retirees' hands one last time. Milne gave the Saints faithful a final glimpse of his talent. While Cozzy's celebrations were short-lived, in a cruel twist of fate. This would hurt the romance, hey? Eh? He's hit the post! It's hit the post. Can you believe this? Blake was pushed up forward in a bid to get him on the scoreboard. And it was a fairy tale finish for the club stalwart. Cotty, Blakey and Milney were saluted in perfect style with a 71-point win.